I'm gonna show you how to do loops on the TCAN EvoWare software. Let's get to it. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go to commands and click begin loop in programming right here. So you can see that if we're doing a 96 well plate, 12 loops. The acronym you want to memorize is GAD, G-A-D-D, -D, which is, you know, get tips, aspirate, dispense, drop tips, right? So whenever you're pipetting, that's the order in which you want to do things. So let's go ahead and get tips. Um, we can get these tips. These are 1,000 microliter filter tips. And then we're going to want to aspirate. So let's say we're pipetting from sample plate here and then we can select the loop options and every cycle of the sample ad loop vary the column by one. So what that's telling you is you want to move this over one by one like that, right? So here's the columns and we're varying the column by one, okay? And then we want to dispense. So go ahead and select dispense. Again, we're gonna to wanna to vary the column by one. We'd probably wanna give it some volume. So like, let's just say 250 microliters, right? And 250 microliters for this guy too. Okay, and then the last thing you're gonna to wanna to do is drop the tips in the waste chute. So let's drop it, Labor 3 is the waste chute. And there's your standard loop for a 96 well plate. Now say we had a 384 well plate, of course I wouldn't use 1000 microliter tips, I definitely have a smaller lab where here for the pipette tips, like a 50 microliter tip would be much better. But let's just say like I changed this plate to a 384. Well, the first thing you'd want to do is make sure you do some tip spacing there. The reason is, is the liha is spaced this way naturally. So unless you want it to pipette one at a time, it's going to be really slow to do it this way versus this way to fill a plate. And then we'd want to add some additional loop options. Of course, instead of adding the sample, having 12 loops, we'd want 24 loops. Because if you look at a 3 to 4 well plate, it's going to go across 24 times. You would normally have another 3D4 well plate somewhere on the plate, but just for the sake of this example, we'll just select the same plate, but you get the idea. And again, you want to um, vary the column by one. And, and what this is gonna do, it's gonna fill just the top half plate, and then you're gonna have empty wells all in between. So if you wanted to fill the second part of the plate, you could pretty much do copy and paste this whole thing and, and start from here, or you can do a nested loop. Um, so to do a nested loop, what you can do is you can select uh, begin loop again, and let's do two, oops, two loops. So that's called sample add two. All right, just give it a name. Um, we can end loop there and we'd want to change the loop options. So here, what we wanna do is vary the row by one, right? So again, we wanna vary the row by one. And so what that's doing is, is when it finishes this loop, it's gonna vary the row by one and go down here, like so. And then of course, it's gonna go all the way across and then that's how you fill your whole um, 3D4 well plate. Okay, so just a quick review for your loop options. You want sample add to vary the column by one and sample add two to vary the row by one. Make sure you have the same things here. And that's it. See you in the next one.